حق الله والله يا الله والله حق الله يا الله حق الله والله يا الله والله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم esteemed brothers and sisters and dear listeners today is a day that I would like to appeal to all my brothers and sisters and well-wishers on behalf of the Islamic Foundation of Toronto this is a blessed month in which we are to receive many rewards and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As he mentions, this is a very special period and we are reminded in the glorious Quran, شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان. This is the period of time or the month in which God reveals his last testament for all humanity, which will enable all humanity and empower them to the path of godliness and piety, because this last revelation is a criteria between right and wrong. Today, I am speaking on behalf of the Islamic Foundation, as I said, one of the leading and perhaps earlier institution in Toronto. It offers many, many services and programs from the very inception. There were many pioneers of this institution who have gone to the great beyond, and there are some still around. May Almighty God grant their souls eternal peace. The programs that are offered at the Islamic Foundation are many. Just to point out a few, from the very inception, the programs are to educate Muslims and everyone else about the glorious Quran and the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, his contribution to humanity and to uplift humanity from the path of darkness into light. So one of the earlier programs of the Islamic Foundation is the establishment of the full-time school, the academic school. And beyond that, they have Islamic classes in the evening, they have the weekend schools, they have summer schools, they have also a program which is considered a very progressive program as the Hills program, where a number of youngsters and teenagers are memorizing the glorious Quran. This program is consisting of boys and girls and many, many hofas are being trained. So my brothers and sisters, Islamic Foundation, beyond that, we have seniors program. We have what they call a soup kitchen program on Saturdays for the community, not necessarily Muslims, but everyone else can attend and have a, a, a hot meal and feel comfortable and many of them perhaps would have some uh, questions and hopefully their answers are given and they feel satisfied. Also in the programming of the Islamic Foundation, we have the counseling for any couple, whether the younger or the elder, and we have uh, the seniors program, we have the funeral services, and beyond that, many other programs, tafsir classes, Friday uh, lectures, etc. 
So all these programs have to be maintained and reach out to the community. So by this program that I'm speaking on is to request and ask for your diligence to supply the necessary help financially for these programs to be continuing. Now, in these days, we are having very much difficulties in our lifestyle. But however, we trust and we hope that there will be ease after these difficulties. So this is Ramadan. Previously and all the many years, for the longest time in our lifetime, we gather at the respective mosques and we would have been gathering at the Islamic Foundation. We show our solidarity. We show our eagerness to give thanks and praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this year, because of the pandemic, we are unable to do this practice. However, on this time of Ramadan, all the expenses are still to be maintained. Uh, you know, we have uh, the everyday cleaning, the everyday sanitizing, the everyday vacuuming. Uh, we have also to maintain uh, the, the building structure it, internally and externally. We have to maintain the parking facilities. We have to maintain the security services. We have to maintain the salaries. So all these uh, expenses add up. And so the appeal is to, for your generous contribution. And to do that, you can contact uh, the following 647-468-3040 or 416-988-1339 or you can contact islamicfoundation.ca. My brothers and sisters, there are many services ought to be conducted and we trust and we hope that in the days of Ramadan, when we gather at the mosque, there are several uh, opportunities for us to meet. And sometimes on a daily or a nightly basis, we make uh, announcements and appeal for contributions. Sometimes perhaps weekends we do that. And particularly in Ramadan, and the night of Khatam, when the glorious Quran will have been completed in recitation, uh, we make general appeal to the community and they raise funds. In those times, you find that uh, they request about 500 to $600,000 uh, to offset their expenses during the month of Ramadan. And so I'm asking you once again that we are not able to do that, but find it within your heart and your consciousness and your generosity that apply some means or method through which you can uh, offer your generous support and contribution. Once again, I am repeating the numbers that you can call 647-468-3040 or 416-988-1339 or islamicfoundation.ca. So my brothers and my sisters, I only can repeat and remind your good selves that we have a responsibility. The institution is there, but it's need maintenance, upkeep for all the services to continue. You know, they are helping other people outside of our community. They have food hampers and many other programs that is numerous to mention. And we are asking for one special way that we have been asking many years in the past is if you can possibly commit to a dollar a day which could be $360 for the year. 
and you can make it easy. And everything is tax deductible. Sometimes some people want to give a thousand dollars but cannot do it at once. So they have a program that you can contribute $84 a month and that will nearly cover a thousand dollars for the year at your convenience. So there are many ways, but I'm asking for your generous contribution and this appeal is to only help the foundation to maintain its programs and its services to the community. I know it's trying times. I know it is difficult times. Many people are not working. And because of the situation in our country and the world over, that uh, there are some financial problems. But however, if there's a will, there's a way. If you realize that the various massages and particularly the Islamic Foundation that which you attend and feel that they are doing a good service for the community. I am just asking you again as I repeat, you can call 647-468-3040-416-988-1339 or the islamicfoundation.ca and you can make your generous contribution. I trust and I hope that after this difficulty, there could be ease and that we trust and depend on the source of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring us back to normalcy. Inshallah, we pray and we hope that all those people and uh, medics who are putting their lives in the forefront to treat and help other and sisters. We ask that Almighty Allah guide them and protect them and grant them the determination, the courage to continue this valuable service to humanity, not only here in Canada, but throughout the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. We ask and remind ourselves that we should be observing the distance between each other, observing to stay at home and observing all the hygiene that the leaders are asking us to continue with. So until those times, we trust and we hope that this pandemic will slow up or go away by the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make life easy for all of us. Islamic Foundation, as I said, is one of the leading and earlier institutions. And I hope it remains that way. But it can only be that way if everyone diligently, earnestly, and truthfully do their level best to protect and safeguard and maintain all the services. Almighty Allah reminds us in the glorious Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah, which is chapter 2 in verse number 245. In the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful, who will lend to Almighty God a goodly loan? which God Almighty will multiply many times over. And know that God Almighty is the one who can increase and can decrease whatever his provisions are. So with these few words from the glorious Quran as a reminder, I trust and I hope that you will call these numbers that I have been given uh, you during this program, 416-988-1339, uh, or the islamicfoundation.ca and make your special contribution a generous one. Inshallah, I trust and I hope as we cannot meet in person that we will keep in touch 
We will share the joys and happiness of Ramadan with each other and we will make a special effort to contribute whatever you can as soon as possible to the Islamic Foundation so that they can carry out earnestly, diligently, truthfully and very simply and earnestly the programs of education and social services, funeral services and uh, all other programs, educational, to develop our physical, moral, spiritual and religious obligations in a better way, a more honorable way, a sophisticated way and to keep us safe from the, any impending dangers or calamities that we trust in Allah. So with these few words, I want to close by once again reminding my good brothers and sisters that Islamic Foundation was one of the earliest and one of those that has always been outstanding in its services. So we need to maintain it. We need to upkeep it. We need to make it clean and very, very attractive that worshippers, brothers and sisters, youngsters and elders can come and feel the warmth of togetherness and feel that it is a place that is filled with joy and happiness and good programs and educated programs can be received through all the different avenues that are being offered by the Islamic Foundation through our learned Sheikh, Sheikh Yusuf Badat. We trust and we hope that this Ramadan, as you cannot go to the mosque, you will make a special effort to put aside as much as you can for the Foundation in whatever means and however means you can. And remember that you can reach the Islamic Foundation by its islamicfoundation.ca or by the following numbers 647-468-3040 or 416-988-1339 until we meet by Allah's grace, may Allah grant all of us long life, good health, prosperity, and keep closer to the glorious Quran, which was revealed in this special time, the month of Ramadan. May Allah grant all of you success and happiness and keep you attached to your respective mosque and to Islamic Foundation to recognize appreciate and do everything you can to enhance, empower, encourage and promote all the good services that are being uh, shared by Foundation to the community. May Allah bless all of us, forgive all of us, keep safe, protect yourself and protect others. By protecting yourself, you are protecting others. May God bless all and may God grant all success and happiness and remove this calamity or this uh, plague or whatever they call it that pandemic from the world over from all humanity god bless all thank you very much for listening once again islamic foundation i appeal on their behalf and you can call the number 647-468-3040 416-988-1339 or islamicfoundation.ca Thank you very much. Allah bless all and keep us all safe. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh respected brothers, sisters and youngsters. We are speaking to you from the Islamic Foundation of Toronto and we're very delighted to have one of our long time volunteers and pillars of the Islamic Foundation speak to us today and that is none other than Sister Jamila. Many of us call her auntie and she is also a mother for all of us and she's done tremendous work and inshallah she will be interviewed so that we can learn more about the Islamic Foundation of Toronto and for this we also have a brother Imtiaz Rasul uh, who will be interviewing Sister Jamila and inshallah we will hear from them both uh, momentarily. Jazakumullah khairan and stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Sister Jamila and Ramadan Mubarak. It's always a pleasure to see you. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I understand that you're a founding member of the Islamic Foundation of Toronto. Please tell us about your experiences. Thank you for having me. I'm honored to have this opportunity to share my experience. My, my experiences, my journey with IFT began at 182 Roads, in 1974, 182 Roads Avenue. Alhamdulillah still continues today after 45 years. When this building at Nugget Avenue was first established, there were just a handful of volunteers. I was part of this group who spent valuable time raising funds to establish the foundation. By the grace of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the IFD is now a fully functional place of worship where five daily prayers are offered, many programs and services are run, and a full-time ministry approved school functions along with a full-time HIF school. The Islamic Foundation of Toronto is one of the largest centers in Canada, serving communities locally and overseas. There are now hundreds of dedicated individuals working tirelessly to run all the programs and services throughout the year. You've been, you've been a significant part of developing and volunteering in many of, the, many of the services offered at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto. What are some of the current programs and services that are offered there? Some of IFT programs include the hot soup kitchen, tax clinic, seniors group, the youth group, and the fountain of youth. In the hot soup kitchen, volunteers serve over 500 people every Saturday by cooking, packaging, delivering, and serving Muslims and non-Muslims, able and able-bodied physical challenge during the annual tax season. Volunteers provide their services to complete tax returns. Our seniors are honored and respected in the community and through the seniors group, they are included and actively engaged every Wednesday. In addition, they go on regular outings locally and nationally. Our youth group runs programs that engage and involve our developing leaders of tomorrow. Their enthusiasm, energy and commitment serve as a vital resource to the institution. Here, male and female volunteers develop social and communication skills and essential life skills for the future generation. The Fountain of Youth is an educational initiative that offers free tutoring services on Friday nights for junior kindergarten to grade 12 students. IFT is one of the few mosques that provide funeral and gusul service. May Allah reward these volunteers for their service and commitment and respect. One of the most attended programs at IFT is the Iftar Meals, where volunteers provide for over 500 attendees every night during the month of Ramadan. During the last 10 nights of Ramadan, IFT hosts those in Itikaf, provides Suhoor due to COVID-19. Ramadan 2020 will be unique for Muslims around the world. 
IFT will continue to stream online programs to help our community stay connected. What are some of the benefits of volunteering at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto? In serving the community through volunteering, we are fulfilling our duty to Allah by helping others. The impact of volunteering is not just donating your time, collecting funds during Juma prayer, or guiding people to a parking spot, or in the mosque area, you guide someone where to go and where to pray. The impact extends far beyond. Volunteering strengthens relationships by developing bonds through inclusion, by reaching out to others, by sharing kind words and empathy, all of which ultimately builds communities. This in return creates a network of volunteers who provide support to those who are ill, who need a meal, who seek spiritual support, and who needs someone to lean on. I am thankful to Almighty Allah because working in this community has been a humbling and fulfilling part of my life. I have met families from all diversities around the globe and have had the opportunity to build lasting relationship with them. I would like to also thank all trustees and members of the Majlis for continuous support and encouragement. What are some of your hopes and dreams for the Islamic Foundation of Toronto? I pray that all of the services and programs at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto will continue to benefit the entire community for generations to come. I also hope that the youth continue to remain involved and we are always able to provide opportunities and assist them. Mashallah, they have so many potential. They bring so much brilliant ideas to the table and the future of this institution is in their hands. So including and giving them as many opportunities as possible is one of our priorities. And my final question, uh, Sister Jamila, is what advice do you have for the community during these unprecedented times? IFT could not operate our, volunt our volunteer programs without the financial support of sponsors and community donations. We thank you for your continuous donations to the House of Allah especially the, during the holy month of Ramadan. With your support, IFT will provide online programs during this pandemic and will resume our regular services after the pandemic, inshallah. I pray that you and your families remain safe during this unprecedented times. May Allah reward you all for your efforts in all its forms. My advice to everyone is to, for us to work together and do not divide among ourselves. We can do this only if we remain united in our common goal to serve Allah and the community at large. I leave you to reflect on the following ayah of the Quran, Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 103. And hold firmly to the rope of Allah, all together and do not become divided. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I ask each and every parents who listen to the program here, who see, because I do make calls to you all for donation, to please donate generously. Jazakallah khair, Ramadan Mubarak to all of you. Jazakallah khair, Sister Jamila. May Allah uh, continue to reward you and to help you to continue doing what you're doing here at the Islamic Foundation of Toronto. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.